and then page two in essence calculates the income and then has any other taxes that are applied like like self-employment taxes or something like that and has the credits which is a whole nother world of confusion and then we have the payments to get to the to the refund or the amount that is due now most tax formula will also give you basically a tax formula format a more summarized way to see this and Lacerda is called the tax summary so if I jump on over here now I've got basically an income tax equation it's trying to show it to me in a simplified way so I can jump to it and see more quickly what is happening this is the type of thing that will basically visualize in our mind I also oftentimes put this formula into an Excel worksheet so I can actually manually to some extent recalculate some of the tax return because when you do taxes unlike when you do like accounting for a business that has a double entry accounting system that at least helps you to check if you've made any errors at least gives you some check the tax code doesn't give you as much check for individual income taxes so miskeying is a problem so if you enter it into like a tax formula and double check it that way that could be a way to better conceptualize what is going on and it can give you kind of a double check to see that you didn't miskey anything into the tax code so that's my general uh, process oftentimes so given that let's try to look at this just with regards to the income tax formula the thing that we're going to visualize in our mind the thing that we will be seeing when we do actual tax preparation in basically an excel worksheet i'll actually build an excel worksheet and we'll do this together that will kind of mirror the structure of the income tax uh, system itself the tax forms themselves but because you can see the links in excel it might be a little bit more conceptually easier to see i know it is for me so the top line of the uh, tax uh, formula is going to be income we have an income tax notice if you look at the actual form 1040 income is this vast area up top now notice that if you were to create your tax formula more most of the time if you were doing this in excel as we will see you would probably make an income line and then put all of the stuff that goes into the income line in other schedules they started to do that a couple of years ago they tried to put schedule one two and three which kind of gives more information about like income lines and expense lines and you would think like if they started from scratch that's what they would do right they wouldn't have everything on the first page of the form 1040 they'd say income and then all the other types of income might be on a different schedule that feeds into this to this income line the reason they didn't do that at the start is because it used to be that that you didn't have software to send multiple forms in and they wanted to have simple tax returns to be done on one form not having other schedules and whatnot but now other schedules aren't as much of a problem because we file electronically and so it kind of makes more sense to do that so now that's why we have in our mind we're going to say what what constitutes income what kind of things are going to be included in income obviously w-2 income is going to go in there and uh dividend income capital gains and stuff like that but then it gets a little bit more complex 